So here's the problem. You've connected your brand new Samsung solid state drive to your MacBook Air, and that could be your MacBook Air M1 or M2, and you've installed the software, but you get to this screen where it says that your Samsung drive is not detected, even though it is plugged into your MacBook Air. So here's the fix. So the first thing we need to do is go into our MacBook Air settings and then click on privacy and security. And now we need to scroll down to security and select the option App Store and Identify Developers. Now, if you're very lucky, you will have a button underneath that saying Allow. And then all you will need to do is just click on Allow and then enter your password one or two times and then restart your computer and that should solve your problem. But unfortunately, for the vast majority of us, it will say Enable System Extensions. But don't worry, because I'll get you to that point where it will say Allow. So let's continue and click on Enable System Extensions. And now we have to enter our password for logging into our MacBook at this password prompt. And then click on Modify Settings. And now we get a pop-up message with an error saying, to enable system extensions, you need to modify your security settings in the recovery environment. So let's click on shutdown. After shutting down our MacBook, we now need to press and hold down the Touch ID button to load the MacBook startup options. And keep holding the Touch ID button down until you see the loading startup options message. Then click on options and then on continue. And then click on user, which for me is just myself, and then click on next. And then enter your login password and click on continue. Now click on utilities at the very top of your screen and then click on startup security utility. Now we have a prompt asking us to select the system that we want to use to set the security policy. Well, we've only got the one Macintosh hard drive on our Mac and it's already selected. So we just need to click on unlock at the bottom of this prompt. And now we need to enter our login password again and then click on unlock. And then click on security policy at the bottom right hand corner. And now we get this prompt and here we need to select reduce security. And then just underneath that, we need to select allow user management of kernel extensions from identified developers. And then click OK. And then you need to enter your login administrator password again and click OK to that. And now it's applying the security policy. And after it's done that, we can close this pop up window down. And then restart our computer. Now let's log back into our MacBook Air. And let's go back into settings. Now go to privacy and security, and then scroll down until we get to security. And now under security, under App Store and Identified Developers, we now have the option to allow that. So let's click on Allow. And now enter your password. and then click on unlock. And for myself, I had to enter my password twice for some reason, so you might have to do this. So go ahead, enter your password again. And then click on OK. And now finally, we can click restart on this pop-up to restart our MacBook. Now, when your MacBook restarts, you may get this Apple logo sequence twice, like I did, before it gets you back to your login screen. Now, let's log back into our MacBook. And we are very close to the end now, so I hope you're all hanging in there. Now, let's close this window down if it's still open for you. And let's plug our Samsung T7 hard drive into our MacBook. And now if we double click on the Samsung software and let's see if we fix the problem. There you go. 
That is fantastic. And we can now go ahead and set up a password to secure our data on our Samsung T7 drive. So if you like this video, please thumbs it up and share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.